Hey, what's going on everybody? Sean Dovid here. And in this video, I want to talk about is Spanish books profitable? So let's get right into the video. So I wanted to cover this topic because a lot of people are going into Ingram Spark. A lot of people are going into draft to digital and you know, that wide approach uh, seems to be the new trend with self-publishing. And this is a great way, when you're doing wide, you kind of have to take the volume approach. So just simply uploading a lot of books and making money through that. So when you go in wide and taking a volume approach, translating your books is a great way to increase the number of books you have and simply repurposing the English book into a translated version of the book. So you can usually translate your book cheaper then you would pay to write an original new English book. So it's a great way to increase your, your book number without really paying a lot of money. So real quick, just want to go over the pros of translating your books to Spanish. So we have very untapped market. If you go to Amazon right now and search for like the Spanish version of the keyword ketogenic diet or paleo diet or computer programming, whatever keywords you're in, I assure you that the search results and the title of the books, the amount of books uh, in the search results is significantly less than the English book. It's very unsaturated right now, very untapped. And a lot of times there's barely any competition. So you can literally just upload a book and you know a lot of times it'll be on page one without trying to even rank, right? So especially this is the case with audiobooks or Audible there's pretty much no competition. Another pro is it's cheaper to translate than to create a new English book. So nowadays ghostwriting company fees ranges from like $2 to $2.8 per 100 words. Uh, if you go to the writing summit, they do a Spanish translation package. Uh, it's 1.29 per 100 words to translate your English book into a Spanish book. And you can even use the code Sean5 which I'll put in the description for an additional 5% off. Another pro is you can treat it like a new book. So you can publish that Spanish book on ACX, draft a digital, Ingram Spark. You can also bundle them to create a new book and then publish that in ACX, Ingram Spark. So it's amazing for when you're taking a volume publishing approach. So the question is, is it profitable? You know, so. Again, this is something that you still want to go and check. So you can do the same keyword research method uh, on Amazon, just simply typing the Spanish keyword in the search results and seeing if you know your usual profitability criteria fits that keyword. Uh, but one thing to know is even if it doesn't fit the keyword, uh, since the competition is so low, that you can pretty much just rank on page one and even if you're only at BSR 300,000 or 500,000 and making only one sale every few days or every week or you know every so often, it's gonna be pretty consistent because since there's no competition, the drop off of the book below page one is gonna take a while until somebody else comes into the uh, keyword and knock you off. You know what I mean? If there's if you rank in a keyword with less than 25 titles in the whole search results, then you're automatically on page one. So there's no drop off no matter how many bad reviews you get, no matter how long you go without a sale, you're still gonna be on page one. So it's uh, more of a long-term approach, but yeah, again, so the market is definitely smaller than the US English market and more and more Spanish readers are coming into Amazon. So I think it's a good investment to publish your book into Spanish uh, and publish it as a real estate, you know, taking up the space on Amazon uh, and more of a long-term approach for the future again. So yeah, there's virtually no competition and let me show you some examples. So we're in ketogenic diet, the English keyword search results. So for this one, it's 7,000 search results for the English version. But if you type in the Spanish version of this keyword, which is Dieta Ketogenica. Um, before we do this, I wanna, so, you know, to be honest, without getting a professional translator, I am not too sure the best way to find the Spanish version of 
your keyword uh, but simply putting like Spanish edition after the keyword sometimes you see other books that are Spanish version like this one here right because of this keyword here so by doing so you know that that's the keyword uh, Spanish version of your keyword so then you can go and check uh, if it's profitable or not so now we're in the Spanish version the English version had 7,000 books in the search results the Spanish version only has 645 and this is a ketogenic diet so you know that it's one of the most competitive one of the most published keywords and it still only has 645 better yet if you go and look at um, the audiobook version this is ketogenic diet right so it's super competitive on English version but in the Spanish version there's only 32 titles which is crazy to me so this is another example Atkins diet right the Spanish version of Atkins diet only has one result on audible so it's pretty insane how unsaturated the Spanish market is. It is also profitable when publishing wide too, so like Draft to Digital and Ingram Spark. Uh, as you can see, the top book here on my Ingram Spark dashboard, uh, and also the third one here is a Spanish book. So, and each one, you know, I always make my book royalty between seven to nine. I think this was like seven dollars or so, but um, this is easily close to $200 royalty in one month and this is like $63 right so Spanish books are profitable in Ingram Spark as well so how to translate your book to Spanish if you speak Spanish you can probably just hire someone on Upwork or Workana uh, because you can proofread the book see if it's translated properly if you speak Spanish uh, and it's much easier for you and you can also you know communicate properly with the, the translator for everyone else like me you know it's much easier just to go to uh, the writing summit because the writing summit offers Spanish translation package and proofreading editing everything is included they also translate your title uh, the seven keyword section description uh, for one point two nine dollars per 100 words and this is actually a great rate because I've actually gone and try and you know hire somebody cheaper uh, on my own but the amount of time it takes the amount of hassle especially with not being able to communicate and the rate that you're paying uh, generally isn't that much cheaper if you consider the translation proofreading editing and the time investment that you're making so uh, for everybody, I would recommend just to use the writing summit, but of course, it is your decision if you just want to hire somebody uh, on your own. Additionally, though, you do get 5% off using the code SEAN5. So definitely use a coupon code SEAN5. Helps out the channel. You get the 5% off. It's a win-win for both of us. And again, from my experience, uh, this is a solid price considering it's all done for you. All right, so scaling the business. Once you've done with Spanish books, you can start experimenting with German, Italian, French, other languages, but I would highly recommend starting with Spanish. So this is a great way to increase your book volume and an amazing way to build up your portfolio because you know we all know that the more books you have, generally you're gonna make more money. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna know what's your experience with translating your books. So let me know in the comments if you have translated your books, if you haven't. Um, if you have, what was your experience? You know, are you making money with it? Is it profitable? Let me know. And again, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I want to get to 1,000 subscribers. We're very, very close. So help me get there, guys. And thanks in advance. Uh, also, follow me on Instagram. My handle name is SeanDowitt13. And if you guys are looking for a Kindle publishing course that covers everything step by step, including uploading your book on Ingram Spark and Draft to Digital and taking that wide approach, uh, I'll put the link in the description of the course that I recommend that I think is the best Kindle publishing course right now. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.